Hey everybody, Brick Lover 18 here today taught with another question and answer video. This is question and answer video number three. And today's question is how to get more subscribers to your channel when even though you've been on for a longer time. So the question, there was question how I had more a lot of subscribers in under a year versus the person who asked the question who had less subscribers than me in more than a year to about two, three years I think they said. So this is an anonymous question so I'm not going to say the YouTube username and I did in another video so I'm very sorry for that I hope I I didn't need a I didn't know it was supposed to be private so any for this is a thing for everybody if you want your question and, or answer to be private either send me an email write it on Ask FM, send me a personal message on YouTube I prefer email and say anon please like okay and I'll gr gladly not say I never thought so I'm sorry that happened but and I answered the question, but they didn't like the answer, so I'm just gonna re-answer it kind of thing. Because like, apparently I talked about it too much going in making a new channel. So say you already have a channel and you want to keep growing. You keep, have to eat, keep uploading. Like you can't upload a video that you think is great and then expect expect it to be watched for a year. Because let's face it, after the video becomes older, it doesn't get watched as much versus a brand new video because that's when most comments happen that's when all the that's when most engagement happens on a video when it's just recently posted and I don't know if that's true for everybody but it's definitely true for me I do not get comments on video a, a lot of comments that I put about videos that I posted a year ago I get them re right up until like I get you can get comments all year round but I get the most comments as soon as I post a video because that's when it's new on everybody's subscribe subscription fee so keep posting up regularly. Don't post uh, bad quality videos with like they say that's at night and your lighting's not good. Wait and film the video in the morning, like or in the afternoon, or you can't film when there's not good lighting because that just that's not good. And like in the video, like it's got some bad lighting right now. It's not bad lighting, it's dark lighting. That's what I want. I wanted dark lighting, so that's my effect. But when you're trying to show a set or something and you say, Oh, you can't see it in the dark that's not really good like you want to be able to see the set and as I said upload frequently um, and basically you just have to join a YouTube circle because that like as Brickstar said in his other video there's a circle of like Lego Man AFOL Lego for Chris Brickstar and then there's like smaller youtubers like they're adults and then adults and then there's kids and like they're they're kind of like your uncle aunt and uncle or not they're no aunt but they're kind of like my uncle I think at my uncle to the YouTube community because they'll help you out and you help them out and it's it's just a circle so try and get into like a circle on YouTube it'll definitely help you out because then you'll have friends and stuff like that so that'll be neat and you just gotta keep uploading good quality videos watch other people's videos comment on other people's videos um, keep up talk about don't tr of course if you see somebody review a set or maybe you'll say I reviewed this set as well, um, stuff like that. But or if you watch a haul and you say, oh, I got that in my haul too, don't say I got that in my haul. Why don't you go watch it? Like I think you just gotta casually mention it. Don't ask for sub for sub. I don't like that about people, and I'll purposely not watch your channel for that. I think I just if you say can I can you subscribe to my channel? Um, I just want to get your channel. I'll spam. I'll mark those comments as spam. Um. If you're still a small YouTube like if you have if you get comments but not a ton of comments, try and reply to the ones you get. Like I get, a, I'm not gonna, I don't get as much as some YouTubers, but I get a lot of comments, and I try and re reply to them the best I can. But I can't reply to all of them. So if you, I read every comment. Every single comment is that is posted, I read, guaranteed. So if you ask a question, I'll definitely try my best to answer it very ASAP stuff like that I'll try my best as hard as I can to do that but if when you comment cool and stuff I read that and I'm like awesome they like my video but I don't reply to those right away if ever because I don't have time I reply to the questions with answers so if you say cool and then ask me a question so that's what you should do try and reply because you gotta if you don't reply right off the bat then people aren't gonna like that and with the big youtubers when they don't reply to anything, questions or something like that, that makes me mad because if I'm subscribed to them, 
I need to definitely get my questions answered. And as I said, don't ask people to subscribe to you. If people subscribe to you, you should be happy. But if they don't subscribe to you, like you just you can't chase them down because it's only one person, and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people on the YouTube com in Lego that are do Lego reviews. There's probably not thousands and thousands, but there's a lot, and there's definitely thousands and thousands of people that watch Lego videos. They might not make Lego videos, but there's definitely big YouTubers have 50,000 subscribers, so that's 50,000 people that watch videos about Lego. So, and if you want to let, if you want the Lego audience, don't upload a bunch of stuff that's not about Lego. That will definitely help you out. So, like, don't upload a bunch about stuff that's not Lego. So that's basically it. There's not much to do. You just gotta wait. It takes time. I went for my first six months on YouTube. So I've been on YouTube for about a year and a half now. My first six months on YouTube, I ended I like I ended I started in 2012, July 2012. I had 23 subscribers by 2013. 23. I was on for six months and 23 subscribers. Some people say it's a lot. Uh, I thought it was a lot then. Now I realize it's not. I get more than that every few days now. But like so that you just gotta be thankful. You gotta thank people because. They, they watch your, they choose to watch your videos, they are not paid to, so if you make them mad, they can't, they, they'll just unsubscribe, you can't keep, force them to stay, kind of thing. It's not like a job where somebody, you make somebody mad, they, and you're their boss, too late, they're, they're work for you, you can't, you gotta be nice to people, you just, you have to be nice to people. So I hope this answers your questions, and if it doesn't, I guess, just ask me another question and I'll take it up with you again, but I hope that answers your questions. Um, also, a variety of videos. Don't just do reviews. Reviews are probably, from my experience anyway, they're my most least viewed videos. I could get 200 views on a city update, or that's inaccurate numbers, 200 views on a city update, but on and the same day, same time, I post a review, a city review of a city set, I'll get maybe 50 views, 70 views, like, I'll, like I just don't, you gotta branch out more than just reviews. Especially when they're not brand new sets. Like if you're the first person to review a set on YouTube, it's gonna your view is gonna go bam. Like it's gonna be a big set, and the people are a lot gonna view it. But if it's been out for a year and people have already seen at least one review of it, it might not be as big. Like because that's what I don't buy sets to review. I buy sets and then review them. Like I, I'm not a reviewer. I do reviews. Some people, the Brick Show and stuff, they're reviewers. They buy sets to review, then they sell them or part them, put in their collection. I don't, like, I don't have the funds for that. I like to collect Lego, not make money. No, I love to make money, but I don't try and make money off of it. That is just something I do, make a few dollars here and there, and that's great. But, so I hope this answers your question. Let me know if it doesn't, and I'll work on it again. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I apologize again. So thanks for watching this video by Brick Lover 18. Stay tuned for more question and answers videos.